Tel Aviv's use of internationally banned weapons, including depleted uranium and white phosphorus during the war in Gaza at the turn of 2009, has resulted in a sharp increase in numbers of cancer patients in Gaza. Experts say that four years following the war, uranium, zinc, mercury and other cancerous materials are now found in the Gaza soil. Norwegian doctors volunteering in Gaza hospitals during that onslaught said some victims had traces of depleted uranium in their bodies. We have noticed an increase in the number of deformed babies after the war as well as a sharp increase in the number of cancer patients, especially among children and women. The types of injuries during the Israeli bombing all show that the weapons that were used were internationally banned and unconventional. During the war, which lasted for 22 days, Israeli forces killed nearly 1,400 Gazans, including hundreds of women and children. Entire neighborhoods were targeted and thousands of homes were either completely or partially destroyed. Now cancer cases emerge on almost a daily basis, with a common denominator among cancer patients is that they lived in areas that were heavily bombed. The area where I used to live was heavily bombed during the war in 2008. About two years after that, where I started to have headaches and virtual loss of my eyesight. Recently, I was diagnosed with cancer. A tumor from my brain was virtually removed in a surgery. The majority of high-tech weapons today contain depleted uranium and other harmful agents. The residue of a depleted uranium weapon can be spread by the wind, infecting humans in the immediate vicinity and contaminating the food chain. The area along the eastern perimeter of the Gaza Strip, which makes up 30% of Gaza's agricultural land, has sustained heavy bombardment during the Israeli war. There has been a sharp increase in the number of cancer patients following the Israeli war at the turn of 2009. International experts have stated that Israeli forces have used internationally banned weapons against the Gaza Strip. I am afraid that more negative effects on the people and the environment will surface in the coming years. Human rights groups have accused Israeli regimes for using the Gaza Strip as testing ground for their weapons. Israel's use of banned weapons is today taking tolls on the Palestinian people in Gaza, what could be tantamount to war crime. And it is yet to be seen whether and when the international community will take Israel to justice for such atrocities it committed against the Palestinian people. Experts believe that the people of the Gaza Strip and its environment will suffer for years to come due to Israel's use of internationally banned weapons. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.